where are you going? Huh? Bluff Overlook. This is part of the Mingo National Wildlife Refuge area and this is the main Mingo Swamp here in front of us. It's a very big lake. I don't know how many acres it didn't tell me online but this is an overlook and we was already coming through here so decided just to go ahead and get a little video of this place. Wow! Thing is huge! Be there. Mm hmm. That's a big old lake. Mm -hmm. Gosh. I wonder if that's Stanley Creek. Mm -hmm. Lots of woodpeckers. What I, heard I can't even see the whole lake. It's as far as I can see down that way. <laughs> Guys, we're literally at least 200 feet up in the air. It don't look like it probably from the camera, but uh, it is. It's hard. It's just hard to tell. But that water down below me is at least 150 feet down. It's basically a giant bowl surrounded by highlands. It's a big depression, it's swamp. Almost all them trees you're seeing out there, a lot of them are uh, Tupelo and Cypress. Different overlook, it was just about one mile down the road. And you get a way better view of it here. It's got telescopes. It's called Monopoly Marsh, and then there's one other one that's really big too. This is the biggest one of them all. There's about a hundred birds, some kind of birds down below us. They're hiding in that back water there they were real loud when we first walked up this thing is absolutely huge guys it's a big place i'm gonna say a thousand acres it's several hundred at least you can't even see it all from here it just goes and goes. It's way past where you can see and way also back that way too. Tucked away in the foothills of the Mark Twain forest right in the, on the edge of it. Pretty neat. You can put a, a boat in here if you had the right kind. A kayak would be more ideal. It's got a lot of grass that sticks up, but there's several patches that are, it has open patches as well, so. Yeah, there's three. Yeah, the baby. They're all little, real little. The big little no, does. The other one is big. No, they're all tiny. Yeah, that's the mother. The mother's on the very right. Yeah. Right there. 
They're all doves though, or just real small. Today we are going to two places. We're gonna come here just for an hour unless we're really doing good. We're at the spillway of Lake Wolfville, Missouri. We're gonna try some white bass. got two spotted bass in a row. Wrong kind, but hey. Three in a row. <laughs> hey, this is bigger, whatever it is. I don't think it's a bats. Oh, it's definitely not a bats. Oh, I got a buffalo or something. If it's a bass, it's a big one. Good God. Yeah, I got a buffalo, I bet you. Or a sucker, maybe. I hope it's a blue sucker. God, he's staying out in that current. I can't get him. Yeah, it's a buffalo. Oh, hey, it's not bad. Oh, man. I only got eight pound line on this thing. I snagged it, I think, yeah. Snagged it in the top. black by the looks of it. <laughs> he's, not, he's not getting tired, is he? My God. I should have brought the dip net. It's in the damn car and forgot to bring it down here. Big mouth buffalo. I already caught three fish. Oh, 
him fair hook on the crankbait. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three bass and a buffalo guy. He's already in less than ten minutes of fishing. My goodness, they're just stacked up. The spillway's at the perfect level right now. I wouldn't want it any higher or any lower. It's just right at the right level. Had a little spot, a little pot belly nine inches. Use this for bait. Giant crawdad. Hey. Use him for bait. Crawdad. You want it? size bluegill here. A worm and bobber. Not too horrible. Driving, there's a big old snap turtle crossing the road. Oh man. Oh yeah, common snapper guys. He is getting defensive too as we speak. He knows I'm here for sure. This is a common snapping turtle. Something you do not want to mess with. I don't want to get any closer than this. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Tried to hunt for mushrooms here a few times. That's what I was talking about, really saturated. It's just swamps everywhere you look at. Bayou type environment. Really cool place. Don't want to come here in the summer because the bugs will carry you off. The mosquitoes are very bad. Right now we're getting ready to go try a new cypress swamp that we've never fished. It's green water as opposed to the black water, or dingy water type environment that is usually known with swamps. This one's actually green colored, but it does have the uh, characteristics of a swamp. It's also a little bit deeper, so we might have better luck with lures too, besides minnows. But we're gonna go try to get on crappie, bass, bowfin, and maybe the rare chance of a flyer, which I've never caught and I hope to get one this year. 
Uh, they look like a mix between a bluegill and a crappie. So I'm really hoping to get a flyer. about there should be there any minute if I remember right we should be coming up on the bridge pretty soon <clears throat> now it's only 36 inches just like the other place I think it might just be deeper by that road. Okay, now it's about 40 inches. Now it's over. I don't know how deep it is. Five feet, four or five feet. Guys, we finally got our first fish. We've been here two hours trying to find these fish. And we just haven't been able to find them. It's a black crappie. Right at keeper size, turning a little yellow colored. I about missed him. Finally, we're on the board. This cypher swamp is totally different from others. It's, I swear to God, it's, I think it's spring fed. It is ice cold and crystal clear. It's very odd. I need another minnow. Wow, I'm this deep, this deep. That's important, you need to be exactly the same, two and a half feet. Two and a half feet deep. God. Yep, that's a poisonous snake. Going down. A little lake here. It's a public lake. We've never tried it. Took me 10 seconds to get a fish with a men on bobber. It's nothing to brag about, but it's a bass. Oh. Oh. A little large mouth. Well, was one. Ten seconds. Did you see that? You got to get away from that moss, though. You got to go out. Got one. You got to. Yes. This place ain't that bad. I mean, they're not big, but hey, that's two fish in three minutes. It's 
Too bad they ain't crappie. It's not horrible. Ow! Ooh, both of them did that to me. Well, guys, two bass. I never got to hold either of them. Nuh uh! Really? All right, there's crappie in this lake, guys. And it's a nice one, isn't it? Oh my god. Nice one. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. My goodness. Well, guys, we answered our question. There's crappie in this lake. We don't think really anybody fishes it. Oh my god, he's real dark, too. Oh man. It's not bad. The bass are tiny, but the crappie are big. My nice. goodness. You got your finally got your fish of the day then. Oh my gosh. Not a bad little black crappie guys, male, getting real dark. Dang it, I ain't got a minnow or no, I got this missile. It's or is it a mad tom? That's a that's a channel cat, yeah. No, that's a mad tom. I want to get that on camera. Don't lose, don't lose it. Hey guys, she found a uh, mad tom catfish laying in the rocks. They look like a mix between a bullhead and a flathead, but you can tell how they look different is their weird tail. That's a really cool little mad tom. Mad tom catfish. There's several kinds. I don't know exactly what kind it is. But uh, let's get a good look at this guy. Mad Tom Cat. Pretty cool. Yep, that's what that was, a Mad Tom. 